Hey, it's Bianca and welcome to my Black Friday haul. Okay, so this is going to be a haul collected over the entire week of Black Friday. All right, so this haul is from a collective of the entire week of Black Friday. I feel like Black Friday isn't even on Black Friday anymore. It's really just like like every day. Also, I will say right really quick before we get into the video, I will try to link everything or almost everything that I got. Firstly, we're going to start with the thrift store category. I went to Salvation Army. They usually every single day, they have a different half off price ticket. All of their clothes are categorized by like a pink tag, a yellow tag, white, blue, green. And the day I went shopping at Salvation Army, it was half off pink, yellow, and white. So we had a three in one kind of situation. Starting with my most newest prized possession. These cute ass fucking little kitty heels that I'm <laughs> I've never been the type of girl to want a lower heel, but I saw these and the detail in them and I was like, I don't care if they're half off. I don't care if anything. I'm getting them. They're nice and clean. They were perfectly my size. I'm a size eight. These are a size eight and a half, but super super pointy narrow heels like this you always kind of have to go a half size up and they fit me perfectly so they are by the brand Werner and they were supposed to be $12.99 because again this was Salvation Army but they were a ink tag so they were half off so I got them for $6.50 <laughs> I'll tell everybody anywhere how cheap I always get my shoes and my clothes because I'm obsessed with thrifting and I've always been obsessed with thrifting this isn't something new like hopping on a fucking trend like no I have thrifted since I'm like a little kid with my mom. And next at the thrift store, I got this blue crew neck hoodie. It's actually for Jordan, but I figure we kind of share clothes a lot of the time anyway, and it's $2 and it just looks so dope. And then the last thing that I got from Salvation Army was this can of Batiste volumizing spray for your hair. Next, I went to Lush and yes, Lush never has any deals, especially for Black Friday, especially for like literally any holiday ever. They don't have deals. The only time I ever see them have a deal is after Christmas when they're selling all of their holiday scented soap. My skin has not been feeling so amazing lately. So I got a cleansing pad from Lush. It's like this little, I'll show you. Oh, it's, oh, I don't like the smell. You can't smell anything in the store anymore. Obviously you have to wear a mask. So I don't really like the smell, that sucks, whatever. So there's this little cleansing pad slash bar. You just wet it and use it on your face as a cleanser. And yeah, hopefully this works. And also I got a sample of elbow grease. I feel like you guys know that I'm kind of obsessed with elbow grease. I have two big packages of it already, but every time I go into Lush, I always kind of get a new sample just because they are discontinuing this product. Every time I go in there, I try to just like get more and more because it is sort of an expensive product. It's like $12.95. The most fun part, if you guys didn't see one of my other vlogs and I went to Roosevelt Field Mall and I went to Lush and it was the first time I went to a mall since like Corona. <laughs> and when you go into Lush, they make you wash your hands, obviously. Most stores obviously do hand sanitizer, but Lush is making you wash your hands with little pieces of soap. And they're like, oh, you could throw it away or you could take it. And I'm like, why would I throw away this perfectly good expensive ass soap? I, I kind of tried to pick like the biggest one. I, that's so cheap of me, but like I'd rather me save it and use it than someone that's gonna go in the store and be like, just throw it out. That's such a waste of product. Like I hate that. I hate waste so much. So yeah, so we got this chunky piece of soap. Next, I went to Cotton On. I did not go to the Cotton On outlet. Like you guys saw in my Cotton On haul, I did an entire haul of just Cotton On clothes. I went to the regular Cotton On this time, but they were having a 40% off everything sale. So that was so awesome. I love when stores actually give good deals instead of just like buy one full price, get one half. It's like turtleneck blue crop top situation it's just like a normal cotton long sleeve shirt i feel like i can't get enough of long sleeve baby blue baby green all these pretty colored shirts especially in the winter like literally the winter's coming i love to layer up i love to have th i get so hot i always have a layer on because i get so hot i have to start taking everything off so at least if i could layer and make myself look cute in the winter instead of like a big blob of a pillowcase then i'm good with that it was supposed to be 14.99 i got it for eight dollars and then next that i got in cotton on was this so cute skirt it's like this silky little magical princess moment i got it in a size small it was also 8.99 it's like this is just so adorable it's just silky nice little lace 
sorts of patterns on it. It kind of looks like a curtain and I really like that. I love looking like home decor. And now moving on next to Primark, which we already know Primark is like the cheapest store ever. So you would be very pleasantly surprised with how absolutely astronomically cheap I got everything. So I bought some underwear because they were $3. So I got three pairs of underwear in like a little bundle for three bucks. So they're a dollar each and they're like lacy and cute and whatever if they rip or like get destroyed over time, it doesn't really matter because they were a dollar bridal looking underwear for three bucks so they ended up being a dollar each but they're like cute and white and lacy and polka dotty oh my god looking at it on camera is even prettier it's so pretty it's like this creamy pinky blush color oh my god it's like a dusty rose oh my gosh so pretty it's lace and it has this like really really pretty embellished little band this was kind of expensive this was twelve dollars um, I would usually never spend that much money on bralettes or bras. I feel like you could get them for so cheap at TJ Maxx or, or other stores. I just thought this was really pretty and I feel like even in the winter, um, I could wear it on top of a long sleeve turtleneck or something. Get seven pairs of socks for $3.50. I really, really don't know where you're going to find a cheaper remedy for your feet. This is actually Jordan's, but I feel like I'm going to steal slash borrow it. He got this cream heather oh my god crew neck he got it in a large it was seven dollars to wear it like cute and oversized and also i feel like some of their stuff shrinks a little bit so you might as well get it in a bigger size and to match he got a little matching set he was like oh my god i'm so excited to be a matching boy <laughs> Um, he got these joggers in the same exact heather cream color. I don't know why I'm calling it heather. I feel like that's the name of it. And then I also got myself a black pair in a size small. These were the women's though. So they were $6.50 instead of $7. These ones feel cheaper than the men's ones. So I probably should have spent the 50 cents and just bought the men's sweatpants in black. So these underwear were $3.50. There are three of them. They're all mangled together i hope there's three of them whatever they're mangled together there's three pairs they're size medium oh my god i got tape <laughs> it was a dollar fifty for two tapes with the things like with the actual plastic i feel like that's so hard to come by i feel like tape is so fucking expensive so i got two gray hand towels they're actually really really thick and i love that so much because i hate mm, i hate when hand towels in the bathroom are thin and then they just like sit and they're just soggy and wet all the time uh, that's disgusting so these are super thick i almost just smelled them but like that's i didn't wash them yet anyway they were three dollars each and they're really cute. They have like this nice little jersey knit pattern on them. Oh, and then lastly from Primark. Wow, this is like the longest haul ever. I always get the press on glue on nails from Primark because they're $2 and they have the cutest designs. So these ones are square leto and they're in this like tealy green color. I usually cut them shorter because I end up hurting my fingers when they're too long because there's nothing for them to like sit on if that makes sense. And then these ones are white square ones i feel like i'll probably wear these for my birthday and i'm going to lancaster for my birthday my birthday is november 28th i'm so excited um, i'm actually really not excited because i'm like turning a monumental number and i ugh, sickening but i'm excited to go to lancaster and they have so many cute coffee shops and so many cute like it's so amish country there and it's so awesome so i kind of want to put on some fake nails take cute pictures of my beverages and like i don't know maybe see a horse like i don't know so i just kind of want nails for that moment so i'm gonna glue these on i have a video from two years ago of me trying the primark nails and them actually looking pretty okay pretty decent so i will try to link that up here if you guys want to watch that video how i put the nails on and etc i already have a face roller i have a face roller from teamy i've done a video on them before it's i did a testing tiktok skincare hacks and i'll try to also link that up here somewhere as well and i use my jade roller literally every single day from teamy but jordan wanted one too so i found this one in tj maxx it was eight dollars and it came with a gua sha and i've been wanting a gua sha for a long time i'm just so excited so i gave him this one because it's like green and kind of manly-ish that doesn't really matter and jordan like literally would use a pink one he does not care but i feel like this is very like forest man vibes let me sculpt my face to look like johnny depp <laughs> and uh yeah so i got this a gua sha a poor sucker 
for $10. It was on clearance, CJ Maxx, Marshalls. They don't really do Black Friday stuff, but a lot of the things around Black Friday time is on clearance anyway. It's like the red and the yellow tags. $10. I've actually been looking for a pore sucker for a while. This is by the brand L. Call It Spring is going out of business. Call It Spring is a sister store of Aldo. I used to work at Aldo. I honestly like their stuff a lot. They were 80% off. Anyway, moral of the story is all of the shoe care in Call It Spring was 75 cents. Four pairs of insoles. <laughs> Four of them, 75 cents each. I also got gel instep cushions, which are these little tiny, probably for heels, so they're like a little padded thing that goes at the palm of your foot. Next, I got clean wipes. I used to use these all the time on salt. Um, you know, in the winter time when you're, there's salt on the floor and you like have booties on, it's snowing, and then you go home and your shoes look atrocious. Use these to like wipe them off and it keeps them nice and protected. This little product is a water resistant lotion. You can put this on like leather shoes, suede shoes, whatever, and you just kind of like fucking do the thing, especially for men's shoes. I know Jordan has so many dress shoes and you want to like keep them for the rest of your life, obviously. Your foot's not going to grow. A shiner for dress shoes. I can't believe how much stuff we got in Colet Spring. Colet Spring was like the best best Black Friday ever. And then this is a multi-protector shoe spray. Uh, you can use it on handbags too. I keep saying shoes, but all of this could be used on handbags as well. <sighs> and then also I got a few things from Amazon. I ended up getting these lipsticks, lippy sticks, whatever that I found on TikTok. They're awesome. I forget how many comes in them, but they were ten dollars for all of them feel very dupe like of ColourPop lippies so i'm really super excited to use those they were ten dollars i will link them down below I, again i will try to link almost everything that i got down below i don't know if they'll have the same deals online but this amazon lipstick they will and then also lastly from amazon i got these two pillowcases <laughs> i've been wanting orange pillowcases for a while to replace my gray pillowcases i just feel like it'll bring my bed back together and make it look super cohesive and like eclectic and fun yeah so i know this was a super long haul i'm really excited that you guys watched through it if you made it to the end congratulations what was your favorite thing that i bought so far in this haul i would love to know my favorite thing i think is my heels <laughs> i'm obsessed with the heels i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe down below and follow me over on instagram and i'll see you guys in my next video bye